What's up, gang? Mike here, uh, head trader at True Trading Group. And on September 23rd, we're starting the week off with a nice trade in JNUG. Um, a slow day today, guys. September in general has been a slow month so far. September in general has um, has has been a slow month. There's there really has been a lot of slow days. We haven't had. Um, I don't think we've had a single day in the markets where we moved more than one percent. And we had like, I don't know, 10 or something like that in August. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, you know, coming into the to the day here today, it's like, you know, I just don't really see much here in the SPY. It's tough for me to say like to, to, to have a directional trade um, in the overall markets here. We just kind of triple topped out at the all-time highs. Um you can see here one top, two, three. And now we're pulling back in. You know, it just kind of feels like we're just kind of bouncing around here. We're just kind of floating around. I don't think you can really have any uh, confidence in in direction one way or the other at this point. Which well, I, you know, I don't. I don't have really confidence in, in direction one way or the other. That's why I haven't. Um, I didn't trade the spy or anything like that today, or, or any options. I just went after a JNUG trade. Um, I was watching the price of of gold. We're at a pretty key level around 1530. We got above it a little bit. It gave us a little bit of a push in the price of gold. And I got long JNUG. There's a technical setup in JNUG that I liked. I'm going to go over that with you guys. Just the one trade for me here today. And after not seeing too much action the rest of the day, I just kind of shut it down and protected my profits. Um, small caps were trash today. Um, there really wasn't any. I mean, you had a couple of stocks that were gapping up in the morning, but they all crapped out. All of the, you know, most of the small caps crapped out. You had a nice move in um, AVDL. AV, yeah, I think AVDL was it. Um, but after that, you know, you had one nice move here in AVDL, but then you could say it just gave the whole move back. Um, so not really anything going on there in small caps. There really wasn't anything after my JNUG trade that made me feel like it was worth me continuing to trade. So I shut it down. Before I get into that JNUG trade, it was type of a gap and go pattern was type of a gap and go setup where the trade line really came into play. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about because I use the trade line specifically to catch this move. Before I get into this, guys, tomorrow's TTG Tuesday. The chat room is open free for everybody. So if you want to come in, you'll see my screen. You'll hear me on the microphone breaking through my analysis. You know exactly what I'm trading and why. Um, if you want to come in and trade with, with me and the rest of the TTG family, um, go to truetradinggroup.com, upper right-hand corner. You're going to click on TGD Tuesday, fill out that form, and that'll secure your seat. You'll get a link that'll give you access into our chat room for free starting at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, and you'll have access free for the entire day. So come in, say what's up. Uh, let me know you're from the YouTube community. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, so let's get to this JNUG trade. Okay, let's get to this JNUG trade here. A little bit of a gap and go type of um of setup before we do this let's go to the daily chart um and here we are guys on the daily chart and after yesterday uh friday excuse me i keep saying yesterday after friday's move um okay it looked like we kind of started to base out here and then we're we're you know kind of turning around i've been watch following the price of gold um and we were testing up on a 1530 level which was a pretty key key area for it i thought if we got above it we had a chance to um, to push back. And I was actually looking for JNUG to possibly get back up to 80 and test this 50 day moving average, which is this teal blue line you see on my screen. Okay. So when we go back to the three minute chart and we take a look at the chart here today, we had the gap up and you can see, we just kind of consolidated for these first few minutes of the day, those first, you know, 15, 20 minutes or so, we just kind of consolidated that gap up and things were pretty quiet. And then all of a sudden here comes the trade line. OK, we came into the trade line. We never even got down here to test that initial opening low trade line came up, held it, pushed us back above VWAP. And right here on this green candle, when we got back above VWAP, once the trade line came in, the stock was very, very slow. Jenna was very slow. We just kind of sitting there. Then all of a sudden the trade line came up and all of a sudden you got this little pop. And that was saying to, that told me I'm like, OK, this trade line's got some significance. I'm jumping in here long. And I got long right there in JNUG. Take you guys to my trade analysis. Here you guys can see just one trade on the day. Long JNUG at 75.23. Stop loss 74.50. So risking about 75 cents. 
There you guys see him long there at 75.23 at exactly 9.50 a.m. So exactly 20 minutes into the day. And right away, you get the trade line view up crossover. And that pushes JNUG up to new highs. And I start peeling some profits off the table. My first profit off the table at 76. I sold 25% of my position at 76. That was right there. And then we extended higher. We got a trade line view up crossover and we extended higher. And I sold the bulk of my position at 76.80 for a nice $1.50, $1.50 a share. So there's the bulk of my position off the table. And I held on to 25% of the position. Okay, I was looking for, you know, the previous highs now to hold support during this consolidation. And then once we broke out to new highs right here, this is when gold got through that 1530 area. We're actually up to like 1532 and we were starting to push. I thought we were kind of through that level and I thought gold was going to extend higher. And I thought that was going to take JNUG up towards 80. And my final target was going to be up around that 79 to 80 area. So I was still holding on to 25% of the position. And then we pulled this all the way back. I held on to this pullback because this was the initial morning highs. I held on to that pullback, but then this pullback is what actually stopped me out of the rest of the position. Once he broke down below that previous pivot low, below the previous highs, you know, I was looking for this more to, to bounce and continue off this level, consolidate, and then go higher in the afternoon. I was not looking for this pullback to retest. And when we did, I actually got shaken out. And this is really the definition of a shakeout. I got shaken out at 75.39, my final take profit. So the last piece, the last 25% of the position, very, 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 very small profit um, on that. So today's not a home run day. We had home runs last week with, Ro with short Roku. If you missed those videos, go back and check them out. But today, you know, I'm just happy to start the week off with a single bulk of my position off the table for a buck 50. Um, you can see here, we, we actually ended up holding this level. Okay, you can see we ended up holding this level multiple times. And now we're starting to climb our way back up towards those highs. So this little pierce right there, that see that pierce right through that level, that is what shook me out. So I kind of feel like a feel like an ass for getting shaken out there. But, you know, it happens. I was just looking to protect my profits because at this point the day had really slowed down. Um, and I was just looking to, you know, just protect my profits on this. I'm happy with the trade. Uh, it was a good way to start the week. Um, and was a decent little trade here on JNUG. And that's it, guys. And I, I kind of shut it down. It's 2.30. Right now, I'm making this video really early because I really don't see much. Um, I don't see all that much. The SPY is just kind of, you know, churning. You know, we're not really extending higher, but we're not rolling over. You know, Roku is just trading sideways today. No real bounce, which is actually a sign of weakness that after such a huge sell-off, we're not able to bounce. We just kind of based here. That's a little bit of a sign of weakness um, in Roku. So I still do have eyes on this, but no real trade there for the moment. Just kind of consolidating, trading sideways. We said pre-market we thought Roku needed now a consolidation day after that big sell-off on Friday. So you're getting it. This is the definition of a consolidation day. I mean, this stock has literally just gone sideways. So we'll see if maybe that gives us a directional trade in the afternoon. But I'm going to play it safe the rest of the day, uh, protect my JNUG profits. All right. So again, guys, tomorrow, TG Tuesday, make sure you register, sign up, get that link, come and chat for free for the whole day. Say what's up. See my screen. Hear me on the mic. I look forward to trading with you guys. I'll see you in chat tomorrow. Take care.